So by the end of this video, you guys are going to learn the top three high yield savings accounts so we all can make as much money as possible. So I hope you guys all enjoy it. If you guys get anything in value out of this video, hit that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. We talk about stocks, money management, trading, investing, virtually everything money. So make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe. So guys, let's jump into it. The top three high yield savings accounts starting with number one. All right. So coming in at number one is SoFi. Now, SoFi is an online bank, so there is no actual physical location, but the beautiful thing about SoFi is they offer so much stuff. They offer debit cards, credit cards. They offer brokerage, so you guys can buy and sell stocks, not to mention cryptocurrency, but the more beautiful thing about SoFi is the absolute beautiful, beautiful savings account interest. The interest is coming in at 4.5. 3%. Now, this is literally more than doubling the national average. The national average is literally 0.39, meaning if you had $10,000 in a savings account, you'd only get $39 over the course of a year. Comparing this to SoFi, you would literally have over $430, which is awesome. Another reason why I love SoFi is on top of the brokerage, on top of the crypto, on top of the debit credit cards, and on top of the beautiful, beautiful savings account, they do offer very, very competitive loans. Competitive loans for pretty much auto for student loans and a variety of other personal and other ones like that. This one here I would highly, highly recommend and I'll put a link down below so you guys can check them out. All right, so coming in at number two for that high yield savings account is the one, the only Capital One. Now, the reason why I love Capital One is they are so big. The variety of their services is actually in the credit card sector, but they do offer a fantastic savings account and debit card. But the reason I love Capital One so so much is because of this absolute beautiful, beautiful interest rate on their savings account coming in at 4.15, which is about $415 for every $10,000 you have invested. And I know a lot of people right now are watching this video and pretty much stating, Carter, why would I even use Capital One or a high yield savings account? Why wouldn't I just keep it in a normal savings account? Guys, the national average, the national average across the United States is 0.39, meaning if you're going to save money, maybe for an emergency fund or maybe just for, you know, some sort of savings because we all try to save money, right? It's always better to get more money. At the end of the day, we all care about trying to make as much money as possible. So it makes sense just to have the more profitable savings account. <laughs> all right. So the last and final one, the last and final one, here is my recommendation coming in at number three is looking at your local credit unions. For me, I have Genesis credit union. This is a bank in Michigan, a, you know, a credit union here in Michigan. But the reason I love of them is they are beating every single every single high yield savings account that I've pretty much found online. The interest rate that they have is a whopping 5.25%, which is $520 for every $10,000 you have invested, which is that's quite a lot of money. That's a lot of money. And I know you're saying, Carter, that's a pretty, pretty good, you know, savings account. That's pretty good interest. On top of that, they offer, they offer something called debit rewards. So this one here is a little different than a conventional savings account. This one here is actually booked as a checkings account. And as you spend money, you guys get debit rewards, very similar to like a credit card. But the interest rate is over 5%. This is a no brainer. This is where I bank. And this is where you guys can honestly start separating yourself from a lot of the other banks because this is way ahead of the national average. So my recommendation, look at your local credit unions, do your research. Now, a lot of people think that once you're stuck with the bank, you're stuck with the bank for a lifetime. No, as a consumer, literally you should have the best bank possible, the best bank that meets your needs. For me, I'm trying to save as much money. So it makes sense me trying to get the best savings account that I can possibly get. So guys, I hope you guys all enjoyed it. But overall, I hope you guys learned something. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe. It means the world to me that you guys watched this video, made it this far. So we'll see you guys tomorrow in another episode. Remember to stay happy, stay positive, and stay safe out there. Take care, everyone. Bam.